Twilio SMS tutorial for beginners. Send SMSs using Twilio. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Twilio. Now, Twilio is a super popular tool where you are able to build customer experiences not only in the form of messaging, but they also have tools such as voice tools where you can make, receive, and monitor calls around the world. You are able to get multi-channel 2FA and passwordless authentication. You're able to look up your customer and access identity risk with real-time phone intelligence. You can connect virtually, access local phone numbers, serverless, and use email functionality as well. So Twilio has a solution for all types of businesses and teams, whether it's marketing, product engineers, customer experience, and developers, and they are serving in all different types of industries. So let's get started. So to get started on Twilio, you're going to click on start for free on the top right and sign up to create your account. I've already signed up on Twilio, but for your sign up, you do need to provide your basic information, such as your first name, last name, and a phone verification. So once you've completed that, your Twilio account is ready. Now, you don't even have to worry about putting in credit information or anything like that. You can get started completely for free and you can pay as you go and as you expand and choose your price plan. You're able to get an initial free trial on Twilio. So you're just going to log on via your password and once you do that, your Twilio console will appear. So this is what the Twilio console currently looks like. On the left, you have your account dashboard, including your develop and monitor functions. The first step is to get your Twilio phone number and we've got our Twilio phone number. If you haven't gotten your Twilio phone number, you can just click on the button and you will get it. Once you do that, you have your account info, your Twilio phone number, and you can click on next to get started with SMS. Now you have three types of options. You can connect Twilio with an application. So if you're already using a tool like Salesforce, Zapier, or Zoho, you can directly use that to basically use as a tool. You can also use a pre-built app, which can send SMS notifications to a list of verified phone numbers using your browser and this is protected by a passcode of your choice or you can build a low code solution with their visual drag and drop editor which can be really easy to use and if you're not familiar with webhooks you might need a developer's help to set this up so for us today we are going to be using a pre-built application so we're just going to click on that over here once we do that we are going to quick deploy to twilio and our account name is going to be my first account to twilio twilio phone number and we're going to set up our passcode and deploy this once we have deployed our phone number we can go back i'm gonna wait this might take up to a minute for our deployment to be completed and our app to be built up and then you're just going to click on next you can check out their documentation for sender registration for product owners for developers and regulation and policy now especially if you are using twilio primarily as a sms tool you do need to take a look at their data compliance and regulation as well as sms guidelines and regulations in your country this is extremely important because if you are found to be breaking any laws or rules then you are going to be removed from Twilio. We can click on go to live application and this is what our live application is going to look like. So let's just wait a couple of seconds for our live application to be loaded up. And in the meanwhile, we're just going to click on next and we can upgrade our account or invite our team members. Now, if I click on messaging, we can click on overview and we will have our basic messaging and our Twilio app is still being loaded up. So this is just our first time opening up our brand new application, which is why it just might take longer. And just like that, you can see this is your Twilio app. First off, you're going to add phone numbers to send your messages to. You can press enter or click on add after each number and all numbers need to be in the E164 format. You can click on this to see what type of format is this. You can take a look at the format just like that. So let's just do that. And then we're just going to click on add. Then we're going to send our notification. So for this, we're going to first add our passcode for our application. 
and write your message. Hello, thanks for subscribing to Bonetta SMS or Bonetta Help. Just like that. And then I'm just going to click on send. And currently it's sending my message. Send zero out of one. Check log for details. And we can just wait a couple of seconds for our message to be delivered. Just like that, you can add as many recipient phone numbers as you want, and you can bulk send SMSs. Now, this is a really simple application. If you go into your messaging, click on try it out, you can send an SMS directly from here as well. And you can even send a WhatsApp message. So you can send it to a virtual phone or send it to a personal number as well. And you can choose the number you want to send it from and you can choose how you can send your message and you will see the overall api and the virtual phone experience as well so one thing to note is that twilio is not going to limit you to just sms you do have the ability to use whatsapp as well which is often a really popular tool which a lot of people are using it just increases your communication with your customers it allows you to build deeper connections with your customers and you're able to get customers interested where they would be browsing because oftentimes SMSs can go unnoticed unless, you know, you have a community of people that are actively looking. But WhatsApp can often be a really popular tool to use. So for this, you can scan your QR code on mobile devices or you can open WhatsApp directly on your browser if you do have the browser application and get started with sending. And this would be your phone number that would be used when you're sending messages via WhatsApp. So you do get your own phone number and you are basically going to be hassle-free when it comes to all of these notification setups and basic setups as well. So just like that, we have our email sent out and we can go monitor that in our messaging logs as well. You can click on settings, you can go into your log archives and see how many messages have been sent as of now. So just like that, it's pretty easy and the pricing is pretty decent. So you can click on SMS pricing and messages start at $0.0076 to send or receive a message, which means that honestly, anyone could possibly send a message with Twilio. It caters to all types of users and it doesn't really matter if your business is just starting out, you still do want to build valuable connections. Depending on long codes, business uh, business messaging or toll-free messaging or short codes, the pricing is going to vary. And if it's a outbound or inbound SMS or MMS. I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or queries, you guys can leave those in the comments down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.